Oh, well, hello there. Fan Showdown Season 6, Episode 10. Tenor. It might be time to move on to, to season, season, season 7 soon. Uh, I got I got a few ideas of how we might freshen it up the uh, the competition. If you got any ideas of your own, make sure to leave them in the comments section down below because I think it's about time we uh, start again. Now, if you want to get in on season six or maybe even season seven, make sure to head down to the description. There's a lot of information on what you need to do to get in to the fan showdown. Um, but I guess I should also say if you are new to the channel, this is the fan showdown. It's a series around the channel where you out there try your best to design what you think the best PC fan is or coolest looking PC fan is. And then you send your CAD designs to me. I print them out and then we test you against your peers to see who out there has the skills to, to get to the top of the leaderboard. Today's video is sponsored by NOLA. NOLA is an award-winning mattress brand specializing in premium mattresses that offer exceptional pressure relief, cooling, and durability. And they're shipped right to your door. NOLA is your one-stop shop for everything bedding from bed frames to mattresses to mattress toppers, sheets, and pillows. NOLA products are assembled in the U.S. of A, and currently they're running a tax day special, meaning that everything on the website is 30% off. With NOLA, you can shop with confidence as they provide free shipping and a 120-night mattress trial and a limited lifetime warranty. Did you know? On average, you'll spend one-third of your life sleeping. So if you're sleeping on a subpar mattress, you're doing yourself a disservice. But regardless of your sleeping habits, NOLA offers a mattress for everyone. From their bestseller, The Evolution, to their signature offering the best pressure relief, and they even got mattresses for kids. Offered in any size you can imagine, from the classic twin to the queen, to a twin XL or a California king, to even a split king. Regardless of what size you want, Nola's got it. Recently, my wife and I picked up a twin for my daughter's first bed, which she is super excited about, and the process was super simple. It was delivered right to my front door. I took it upstairs. I took it out of the box. I cut off the vacuum packing, and it just came to life. So if you need a better night's sleep, make sure to head down to the description below and click the NOLA link to head over to their website and check out their offerings. And make sure to use my code MAJORHARDWARE to get an additional $50 off your next purchase, plus two free pillows. First up today, we have Linus and his fan, Bi-Directional Beast. Now, Linus didn't say much about his design or where it came came from or what the inspiration was. Uh, what he did say is it's probably not that beastly. It's 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 basic. <laughs> There's confidence for you. But he's curious to see, you know, what will happen. He's, he's happy to be involved and see where he, where he positions himself or where he places on the leaderboard. Based on what we can see, though, uh, we can kind of guess the fan does have two kind of separate fans. It has an inner fan and an outer fan separated by like a midpoint ring. The inner ring is composed of seven blades and the mid ring design has like a hint of centrifugal fan. You can kind of see it has this dome-ish shape to it. And the outer blades, the outer blade count, I guess I should say is five. And the curve angle on these blades is less conventional, we should say. We normally see blades kind of shaped the other way, but maybe this is, maybe this is a new meta. Maybe it'll work really good. Uh, I guess we'll I guess we'll find out soon enough. Now next up, we have something pretty interesting. This is the CF004 by Lee, and just looking at the little pictures he sent with it in his email, I'm already excited because who doesn't like turbos? It's working so good! Fire! We got a fire! Cody, we're on fire! Now Lee again didn't say much about what inspired the CF004, but I'm betting it was a loose, I'm betting it was a turbocharger. Lee stated his goal is to create something with great static pressure, top performance. He's looking, he's looking to crush the top of the board. And I think if you're, if you're looking to do something like that, at least in season six, you're looking for static pressure. Uh, a turbo is a, is a good, good inspiration. I mean, they do tend to make a bit of pressure. Lee did say he was a civil engineer for over 20 years, and after seeing the fan showdown pop up on his feed, he decided, you know, why not, why not give this mechanical stuff a try? Now, the software Lee used is called Onshape, and the reason being that he used it was, well, it was free, which is a good reason. Now, I tell you this because a lot of you guys send me comments and stuff asking me what is a good software to use to design fans for the show, and according to Lee, at least, Based on what he was able to accomplish, I'm thinking on shapes a pretty good, a pretty good bet. It's free. He was able to make something like this, and if it does really, really good, uh, I think this is the best on shape ad there there might ever be. This is not sponsored by on shape. I've actually never in my life used it, but <laughs> maybe I should. If you've used on shape, make sure to let me know in the comments if it's something worth checking out. Now the CF004 is comprised of four pieces. You got the compressor, you got the housing, which is two separate pieces, which is good for printing and putting it together, and then you have this 120 millimeter adapter. The design itself 
even in the pictures and even after it was printed, looks looks really clean. I'm pretty impressed with what he was able to come up with here. And based on what I know about turbos, uh, if this thing performs half as good as what it looks, I, I bet it I bet it'll do pretty good. Honestly, if this thing performed decently, uh, it's it's the kind of polish that it would actually look pretty cool in like a PC setup. Obviously not this one, but if you had like an air cooled PC, just having this sticking out the front would be pretty interesting as long as it's not super loud. Uh, just blowing fresh air into your case. Or if you wanted to get crazy and do like some custom PC case, you could have two of these set up as like, almost like twin turbos. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. But, but either way, CF004, so far it looks pretty sweet. Now next up we have Ricardo and his fan Blender Anti-Surge. Ricardo has been following the fan showdown since season one, so thank you for that. Uh, you're a real OG. Now, Ricardo said he wanted to create an original design for quite a long time and finally decided, you know what, the moment had arrived. Again, Ricardo gave no information on the inspiration of the fan. It's kind of the norm. People are just like, here's a fan. Uh, but I guess we could do some guessing, and if we're wrong, we'll, we'll probably be wrong, but why not? The fan itself is eight blades, which is interesting in and of itself because we normally see odd number of blades seven is a is a good number people like to go with even not really seen often but maybe ricardo knows something that we don't now around those blades you have a ring and then on this ring you got these little stubby blades and i'm guessing those stubby blades given this thing has like a, a shroud that goes around it maybe those stubby blades are to try to close the gap around the the, the ring the, the edge of the the fan frame to try to improve performance even more i don't know we're just guessing the intake shroud itself is more than kind of just a simple velocity stack. Around the perimeter, we see these little tiny vent holes, and my assumption is this is the part that makes it like the, the anti-surge. This is the anti-surge part. Now the fan Ricardo created has the anti-surge holes or the vent holes around the shroud, which are in front of the compressor section, so no air is really bypassing the, the fan disc, so I don't know how it'll work, but maybe if it's starting to get choked out, those will little, uh, let a little more air in. Uh, they're kind of angling in a way that maybe they'll induce a vortex. A lot of things might be going on here. This could be, this could be amazing. Now, last up, we have Jay and his fan MSC or multi-stage centrifugal, and this thing, this thing's a doozy. First up, you'll notice that it is slightly bigger than the A12X25, and by slightly, I mean quite a bit, quite a bit larger. It's basically the size of the print tray of the Bamboo Lab that I printed it on. Now, at first, you might be confused, which is which is to be expected when looking at something like this because you have this giant plate with all these little tiny fan blades sticking up on it. And then you have another little plate with all the fan blades sticking up on it. And you're like, how the heck is this supposed to make a fan of any kind? And well, it gets a, it gets a little weird. Essentially, what the idea here is that the one plate is mounted to the fan frame itself with all the blades sticking up. And the other plate is mounted to the spinny bit of the fan with all the blades pointing down. And they hopefully will clear each other and not break each other off as it spins up and hopefully make some sort of static pressure, like a static pressure sandwich. Now thinking about how that might work, you're probably like, oh, how's, that, how's, this, how's this contraption supposed to create static pressure? Well, it's not. So it's not, I guess, a static pressure sandwich. It's supposed to be a vacuum sandwich. <laughs> Jay isn't going for the highest score. He isn't going for the highest static pressure number on the sheet. He's going for the lowest. We're over here playing Fan Showdown Chess and Jay's over here playing golf, I guess. He's going for, he's going for the lowest score. The idea for the MSC is to go low and Jay is aiming to accomplish this by producing negative pressure. He's produ trying to produce a vacuum inside of the test setup rather than a high pressure zone. So that's interesting. It's definitely a first on any season of the Fan Showdown just going completely opposite of what the intended goal is, which is which is awesome. I, I commend you, Jay. One thing about this design though, is that I had to print kind of a lot of these things because the first one that I made, when I put it on the fan frame and I tried to get this thing, well, I tried to put it on the fan frame and I was like trying to hold it down as I was screwing it. They just, I mean, look at, they just, they literally just fall off. So I was like, dang it, had to print another one. And then I got that on there and I was like, okay, and I'll put this on there. And then my thumb was just like, and I had to print another. So I ended up printing a few. Eventually I got it together, as you can see. Don't look at it too hard, it might break. But everything clears. Surprisingly, I thought when I put this together I was gonna fire it up and it's just, just, just like shear everything off, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Seems, seems to have worked. But before we can see if this thing can actually pull a vacuum, as Jay hopes, let's, let's see who's the loudest. The CF004 came in around 49.2 dBA. The MSC came in around 42.4 dBA. 
The Blender Anti-Surge came in at 52.9 dBA, and the Bi-Directional Beast came in around 54.1 dBA. So not bad. I mean, nothing was crazy loud. There was quite a few that were pretty darn quiet. I mean, most of these blower ones, especially this thing, was not even on if you were just listening to it. But let's, let's take care of what everybody really came here to see. Let's see if this thing can move some air. In the performance testing, the Blender Anti-Surge came in at 1.9 millimeters of H2O. The Bi-Directional Beast came in at 0.9. The CF004 came in at a massive 10.6. And the MSC came in at negative one. Placing the CF004 first place, the Blender Anti-Surge in second, the Bi-Directional Beast in third, and the MSC in fourth, right where Jay wanted to be. And overall, they finished first, 35th, 40th and 41st, meaning Lee was able to grab the top spot by not just being the best one on season six, but being the first person to actually hit double digits, which is a milestone in and of itself. And Jay, on the other hand, was able to do exactly what he had intended, get last place by outperforming the worst fan and getting negative numbers. He was the first one to score negative in uh, the fan showdown. So that's another first, two first for the day. So that's that's cool. That's interesting. This thing is <laughs> it's fascinating. We covered every possible spread on the leaderboard. And if you want to get in on the action, like I said, check out the description below. Send your designs to me. I need a .stl or a .stp of your 3D CAD model. Make sure to check out that PDF because it's got some critical dimensions. You need to make sure you hit to make sure your fan fits on the A12 X25 frame. And then send those to the fan show on at gmail.com. And hopefully everything around here has calmed down. And I'll see you again sooner rather than later.